Welcome back to Learn Electrics. In this video, we will look at two way lighting circuits, how to wire the circuit to current IET recommendations, and how it works. Very briefly, we will be demonstrating this with single gang two way switches. The lettering in your switch may be different as every manufacturer marks them differently, but it should be easy to relate to our switch. In our examples, we have marked common as C and the two switched terminals as L1 and L2. All switches will allow current to flow from the common terminal to L1 and operating the switch will allow current to flow from the common again but this time to L2. Common is always connected, L1 and L2 will change over every time the switch is operated. If you want a fuller description of switches and ceiling roses, then please see our other video after watching this one. And we've left a link to one-way lighting in the description to this video. We will use a standard three-plate ceiling rose in this example, and how to wire this up is fully detailed in the one-way lighting video. Marked S here is the switch wire to and from the light switch, and marked L is the loop feed from either the consumer unit or the previous ceiling rows. The ceiling rows will remain unchanged. It is the same configuration for one-way and two-way lighting. This means that if you change a one-way lighting circuit to two-way, there is nothing to do at the ceiling rows. It is all done at the switches. We will build up the circuit in stages and then look at current flow through the circuit. The switch cable is often standard twin and earth cable. The blue is not used as a neutral. It will at some point carry 230 volts and should be marked with brown sleeving at both ends. The strapper cable is three core plus earth, brown, black, grey, and all three colours will carry 230 volts. So the black and grey should also be sleeved in brown. On the drawings that follow, we have left off the CPC or earth and also the brown sleeving for clarity. We can begin with our two switches. One switch may already be in position and you may be adding a second to convert one way to two way and the process is just the same. We have our twin and earth switch cable and this comes from the ceiling rows. Next we have the three core strapper cable that links the two switches. This link cannot be made with a standard twin and earth cable and the CPC should not be used as a live wire. What do we want to happen when it is all connected up? Voltage will enter the circuit from the ceiling rows, the live loop terminal, and travel along the brown wire to the first switch. We then want the voltage and current to travel along the strapper wire to the second light switch, pass through the switch, and return to the first light switch, and then back along the blue of the switch wire. This will return to the ceiling rows where it makes the light come on. And that's all that we want to happen, voltage in and voltage out. Let's begin and start to build the circuit up. This is how I do it. First, connect the black of the strapper to the common terminal of both switches, not forgetting to put some brown sleeping on it. At the first switch, you will have two brown wires, one from the twin and earth and the other from the strapper. Put these two browns together into terminal L1. At the second switch, you have only one brown. Put this into L1. At the first switch, you should have just two coloured wires left, a blue and a grey. Put these together into terminal L2. And at the second switch, put the only remaining wire, the grey wire, into terminal L2. What do we want to happen? If we have a voltage going into the circuit, then operating the switches will turn the output voltage on and off. And that's it. We can follow the voltage around the circuit and we've used dotted lines to show that a particular cable is energised with a voltage. The voltage travels along the switch wire to L1 of the first switch. And now, through the switch to the common terminal, along the black strapper wire to the common terminal of the second switch 
and then to the L2 terminal. From L2 along the grey strapper wire to L2 of the first switch. Along the blue wire, back up the switch wire to the ceiling rose where it causes the light to come on. And the circuit is in fact complete. If we operate the second switch, shown on the right here, what will happen to the voltage and the current flow? Voltage enters the circuit on the brown of the switch wire as before and goes to terminal L1. Through the switch and along the black to terminal L1 of switch number 2. Back along the brown wire to terminal L1 of switch number 1. And the voltage cannot get to the blue wire in terminal number 2. So the circuit has no continuity. This means that there is no voltage coming out of the circuit and therefore the lamps will not light up. No continuity, no voltage, no light. Now we can operate switch number one and what happens this time? Voltage in along the brown switch wire to L1, along the brown wire of the strapper cable this time to L1 of switch number two. Through the switch to the common terminal and along the black wire to terminal L2 of the first switch. Up the blue of the switch wire to the ceiling rose. Voltage in, voltage out, the light will come on. What happens with these switch settings now? We have just put switch number two into the opposite state. Voltage will travel along the brown switch wire again to switch one, L1. Along the brown strapper wire to switch two, L1. And there it stops. The voltage cannot reach the black strapper wire. No voltage is returned, so the light goes out. We can have a quick summary of how to make the connections. They are very, very easy to remember. Connect the black strapper to the common in both switches. At the first switch, connect both browns into L1. And still at the first switch, connect what is left, blue and grey, into L2. At the second switch, brown into L1 and grey into L2. Job done. Finished. All that we want to happen is voltage in at the brown, switch the voltage coming out on the blue to be on or off, and operating any switch will make the circuit change state. On, off, on, off, on, off. Nothing complicated. And in a future video, we will look at intermediate switching sometimes called three-way switching. Well, that's it. We hope that you found this video from Learn Electrics both useful and enjoyable and that you've added more knowledge to your mental toolbox. By clicking on subscribe below, you will have access to all of our Tech Tips videos and you will also ensure that you don't miss our next weekly video. Clicking on subscribe also helps us and we do appreciate that small act. It does make us feel that our effort is worthwhile. Tapping in Learn Electrics, all one word, into the YouTube search bar will also give you access to all the videos. Thank you for watching and we hope to see you again very soon.